Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar! Let's head on into the Silver Spire and see what we can do about the grindery with Vane. Although I don't know why we need to uh, do anything right now. It's not exactly... Well, actually, yeah, it is kind of on our front door, isn't it? Mia said she uh, heard the grindery on its way. Something like that. So. That staircase kind of reminded me of... Uh, what was it called? A Daryl's Tomb? Or whatever it was in Final Fantasy VI. Although I suppose any number of staircases might be like that. Yeah, why did we, anyway? Uh, you didn't answer my question, Nash. Oh, okay, that does so. Okay. So only special people can teleport here. Omnia is special. For some reason, that picture reminds me of something out of Terranigma. Of course, again, it could be any number of pictures from the game. What are you going to do? Like a spirit bomb or something? Or a Mako Cannon. What are you going to... Well, no, Galleon's the one with Mako Cannon, actually. But I mean, he's got a grindery with cannons and stuff on there. Yeah, what are you going to do with this place anyway? Did she just refer to herself in the third person? Mia can do this. Mia's a caring soul. Now here's my question to you viewers. How is the grindery coming from that direction? There's an ocean there! Even if he came up from the south, there's mountains in the way. Last time I checked, uh, tanks don't handle non-level terrain very well. It doesn't exactly look like the most stable tank. It kind of looks like it's about to shake apart any minute. Maybe you should have thought your plan more thoroughly before taking using the grindery. Maybe... Take it on a test run first, or a test drive or something? I think you should have thought your plan through a little more, Galleon. I'm disappointed in you. That's a pretty big magic ring. Oh, that must be all the people they evacuated or something like that. So are you going to do anything? Or just stare at each other for a while? Take a coffee break? Game? I was going to say, ha-ha, you missed, but not really. Nuts. And they died. Did we do anything to the grindery? Were our efforts for naught? Yay! Happy music! Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Oh, I should have said, they might be okay. Why would you be dizzy? Maybe she hit her head or something, I don't know. Whatever you say, it doesn't really seem like much of a tie. It seemed like 
uh, Galleon kind of won that battle. Oh, okay. So he utterly destroyed us, but we only barely scratched him. It doesn't really sound like a tie to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. What do we need those for? Can't we just go back out the same way we came? No, no, you cannot. Uh, oh, oh, okay, that's why we can't do that. You can't even warp to Vayne anymore. Vayne is uh, kind of gone now. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we could head to the grindery. Or we can do side quests! So, let's go do that. Uh, let's see. We want, Yeah, you can't even warp to Vayne anymore. Uh, we can go to uh, land, though. Let's go there first. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what happened to all the hobos living in uh, under Vayne in the Cave of Trials there. They probably all died. Oh, man. But actually, um, well, I'll tell you in just a moment. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what did you find? One of the best items in the game? Yes, it is! The Galleon's Tear. Uh, what it does is it lets your physical attacks hit all enemies. It is really good during uh, random battles. So, uh, I'm going to take that, Galleon's Tear, and I'm going to give that to Nash, ironically, because you got the Dreambow, hits all, or puts an enemy to sleep about 50% of the time, then you got Galleon's Tear, hits all enemies, so now you got a sleep spell that costs no MP, hits all enemies, not just like an AoE, like his regular sleep spell. And it deals damage to them at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty obscene, viewers. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's everything we want to do here. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, the only way you can get that from him is if you came here during earlier in the game and became an honorary citizen of Lan. And you can only do that at a very specific point in the game. I went over that earlier in the walkthrough. But, uh, yeah. So if you missed it, if you missed that, it's too late. You can't go back and get it. So, yeah, it's kind of a bastard move with the sequence trigger. But, well, there it is. At least we get something really good out of it. But yeah, like I was saying about the Cave of Trials, if uh, you actually go back in there while they're still evacuating... But before you get Nash into your party, you'll find everyone's gone except the one old guy way at the beginning who says they're using the Cave of Trials to help evacuate people. Which kind of makes sense, splitting up the people that they're trying to evacuate except for all the monsters in the cave. So, the hobos made it out okay. Aww, how sweet. But anyway, if you've uh, talked to Lily those three times that... I told you to. Will we get another one of the best items in the game? We do! The Gale Ring. Let's you, it increases the number of attacks you can do per round by one. Which doesn't sound that good, but it's actually really good. So, yeah, because there's very few things in the game that increase the number of attacks you can do. I'm going to give that to Kyle, because he has the most attack power, and his, his loss of agility isn't really that much. So I'm going to give that to him for now. Uh, I'm a, I want to hold on to the Wrath Ring for later. Uh, I also recommend holding on to the Sage's Cane for the Wisdom Boost and the Crystal Pendant for boss fights to improve his magic damage, where the Dreambow and Galleon's Tear aren't going to be as useful for him. So, oh well. Now what I want to do... Mm, you know what? Let me show you on screen because... Oh, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys might have forgotten where this place is. Uh, let's just... We're about to the entrance to this place. We want to head over to Demon's Tower. There's one more accessory that we can get at this point in the game. By the way, if uh, uh, same thing with the Gale Ring. If you did not talk to Lily earlier in the game when I told you to, you can never get it now. Uh, also, if you do not get this now, after Vayne was... these The two accessories, if you didn't get it 
now after Vayne was destroyed, but before entering the grindery, you can never get them later. So yeah, very, very specific timing. Bastard move, I know, but they're really good. But anyway, we want to head to Damon's Spire, uh, because there's another accessory that we can get here, but we got to get all the way up to the top there. Fortunately, I've already created a save file where I'm already at the top there, so let's just skip on ahead there, shall we? Fortunately, all the doors are still open from before, so that'll make life a little easier. Uh, this accessory, I don't think is specific to getting now. You might only be able to get it now, but my notes, or at least my research, didn't say anything about that. So, I don't know. I could be totally wrong on that. You might as well get it now, because this is the earliest point in the game you can get it. I just don't know if you're permanently locked out of it if you don't get it now. So. Well, yeah, there might not be a future history. So, for talking to Damon, we get the Hell Ring. And I don't think there's any prerequisites to this one either. So I think you can always get this one no matter what. So, hmm, I wonder what he means by that. Well, it's another one of the best accessories in the game. So uh, let's take that. Uh, Alex, there we go. The Hell Ring. Cut your MP consumption in half. We're going to give that to Mia there. It can be good for Alex with his dragon spells, but I like giving it to Mia... Uh, let's keep her on the Chira's tail for the agility boost. Uh, let's see. Can you warp us out of here? There you go. Okay. We can't use the dragon wings in this area, so we're going to have to get out of here first. But yeah, I like the... Uh... Oh, I need to heal a lot too, don't I? Okay, fine. We'll uh, go back to... Meridia. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, I like giving the uh, Hell Ring to Mia for now. Maybe during some boss fights, I like giving it to Alex for his dragon spells. But, well, it depends on the situation. Again, you want to hold on to Mia's Crystal Pendant for later. Like, during boss fights when uh, I don't care about NP consumption as much for her because she has so much of it. So, anyway, just wanted to go back to Meridia to heal up. There's a grindery. It's kind of just sitting there. Scallion's taking a coffee break, so... Well, there we go. Yeah, kick ass! <laughs> Maybe we should just not. We could try climbing the thing. Oh, there's a door. Oh, I guess the Emperor has been expecting you. Mother Scratches. Not really swearing, but I'll take what we can get. Let's put our new accessories to use. Death Armor. These guys are weak to just about every element that we got. Uh, even though Nash is only going to target one enemy, his physical attack will hit all enemies. So, let's use Flameria. Now only 15 MP. Holy cow. By the power of Athena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is the part where we just broke the game. Uh, didn't we kill the other guys? Game? Well, yeah, what did you think? Oh, um, yeah, that is true. Oh, not with your help, Mia. But anyway, we got another new enemy here. Elemental Master. It's like a Dragon Master, except less death. But anyway, let's use our physical attack on one of those guys. I'll use Flameria, even though the Elemental Masters are strong against the Elemental Magic, but they are weak against um, Alex and Kyle Elemental attacks. We'll take those guys out. Yeah, you see how they hit both of them? Unfortunately, it didn't uh, put either of them to sleep. So the sleep rate is a little low, but in exchange, you get actual damage if you don't put them to sleep. So it balances out with the sleep spell. Not to mention, a sleep spell could only possibly have hit one of those two instead of both of them. So 
and on average, you'll probably hit both of them, at, or one or two, one of the two anyway. So. What, that's it? You're giving up already? Ha ha. Yeah, right. I think he was, uh, exaggerating. I could have cliffhanged you guys there, but nah, I'll play nice today. Besides, I don't want to have to go through those two battles again without, because I'd have to do that off screen with the saving. But hey, hey, all right, Tempest and Fresca. Ha ha. Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy IV. Because as we all know, there are always giant robots. Always. Not that this is exactly a robot, but close enough. It works. You know what? I'll go for a little more length on today's episode. Uh, there's one more new enemy. Well, there's two more new enemies in this area. But uh, I don't... The second one isn't on, or the fourth one, is not on this floor. So I'm just going to show you the one new enemy, the uh, the magic machine. So let's see. Let's hit all of them. Use, we might as well use Flamaria. Why not? It's obscene. By the power of Athena. Yeah, none of these guys are weak to anything, so, oh well. Not two out of three, not bad. The uh, magic machines seem to be immune to sleep, so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't really worry about that. I mean, they are machines and robots. Why wouldn't they be immune to sleep? So let's see, you got four attacks now, Kyle. Or you could just not use it. Whatever. Okay, well, that's pretty much all the new enemies at least in this part of the grindery. What is powering the grindery around here anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!